Jesus. We're like Decker's got his hair out, and that means it's time for the first Screen Queens of 2022. And before we get too excited, we're going to go straight into the most exciting news, and that's that you're um, back being an actor, bro. Yeah, we're, back, back we're at in, it. That's in, why I've, I've been downgraded to this fucking <laughs> microphone that I'm going to be working... I'm going to work out how to sort this out. Um, but yeah, yeah. You back, can go hand mic again. But, oh, God, that was, a, that was my best, some of my best work, I think, hand mic. Yeah, that's... The hand mic was good. Um, but yeah, yeah, doing the acting thing again, so that's pretty fun. Are you able to talk about what the show was or any or what uh, you were in? No, I can't can't say what it was. It's just a he's uh, holding one of the suitcases a, on Deal or No Deal. Yeah, but it, it's like a I decent like it's yeah, like it's, it's an it's exciting a, thing to be a part. It's a of. thing that people would know. Certainly excited to be a part of it. I um, mean, just think of all the things that have been filming locally in Queensland lately. Yeah, exactly. Tiger it's, King. It's one of them. You um, are <laughs> you're playing the guy from Tiger yeah, King, I aren't could, you? I, honestly, it's Jog's, one of the tigers. Jog's ex boyfriend. <laughs> um, messed up ex boyfriend. That'd be cool. Um, Tell but, you what, uh, if I get to fuck you in the ass, you have an unlimited meth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Unlimited meth and access to tigers. Occasionally you oh, lose an arm. That's so. a dream, right? It's fine. Low grade uh, meat? Yeah, lo- Jeez, I wish. I all wish. The, all the day old meat you could ask for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was my favorite part of it, where they were just eating the shit. <laughs> the, the expired meat. There yeah, you yeah. go. The tra- trailer boys, you know. Yeah, how it is. Ah, cool. It's like if you if you had to make a microphone stand <laughs> and make it the worst way possible this would be That's i don't it. think i could like i can't get close to it because the pop filters because now, to... now you're double filtered i actually don't even know how this if is... you put one more your um smirnoff triple distilled has he actually yep. welded yep. the pop filter on it's stuck on mm. mm-hmm. for fuck's sake <laughs> As you, um, any viewers at home will can realise there's been some changes happened in this studio while we've been away. Yeah. Ah, just one. We've got a wheel, though. Do you have a wheel? Oh, and the wheel's on we camera. We can see the wheel, yeah. On camera wheel. Foo Fighters would love that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> when the wheels come round, as they said, I think. Um, other housekeeping. I saw a bunch of movies in the break at the cinemas. Did anyone else go to the cinemas? No. I Bro, don't be not stupid. shocked. Let me just say... I watched more movies in the holidays. That's than a lot I, of blowjobs. I watched, <laughs> it was a busy. It was a busy summer. Um, I watched more movies in that Christmas break than mm. I reckon I did in all of. But any of them at the cinema? Absolutely not. Okay, I'll run through what I saw at the yeah. cinema, and then we'll do the what we watched segment later. Um, I've put them in order of from shittest to best. Okay, lovely. Um, I I went to the movies four times, but I only saw three movies. Uh, the That's worst a lot of one. The worst one was uh, the new Matrix movie. That was yeah. the worst. It, it's fine. It's not actually. Why? Why? Why am I surprised? <laughs> <laughs> like it's fine. Sure. And um, the the premise of like, because uh, he's like gone back into the Matrix and yeah. all that stuff, and the reason why he has like these flashbacks and memories is really interesting. Okay. Like the machines or whatever have instilled it into his brain. Right. That he he's created video games. And, That's like the Beatles and the movie. video games is the Matrix. Like he, these right. characters and stuff, and it's all based on the first few movies. Like it's kind of interesting. Anyway, mm. do you remember that Beatles movie, The Indian Beatles? Get back. Oh, uh, the Indian one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You remember it? The guy, the Indian guy, woke up and he was the. Beatles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was good. It's like Matrix Four. <laughs> he's also English, but he's like. <laughs> oh, I mean, look, I never heard him speak. I haven't seen either. So, of how long into the recording are we before we started talking about? Yeah, okay. Cool. He's fucking Indian. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> he's the guy that plays uh, on Big Bang Theory. Dev Patel. No. Is that his name? No, 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 no. The, the is, he... is it him? Yeah. Oh, he looks. No. It's the guy. It's the Indian guy from are Big you Bang sure? Theory. Raj. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it is. That's um, that's Dev Patel, isn't it? It's not Dev Patel. <laughs> is Dev Patel a comedian? Dev Patel is from Skins and Lion and oh, him. Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's the, the guy same from guy? the Beatles movie. <laughs> See, fucking, what's it say? Patel, Patek. It is. Fuck you. Yeah, Dev Patel. It's not Dev Patel. <laughs> what's wow, his name he then? Looks, he looks weird, like way different though. He's also in uh, there was a really cool crime series I watched. And it's basically Criminal just, Minds. No, no. I said a good one. Um, his name? I don't know. His Hamish Patel. There you go. Boom. I was yep. halfway there. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, the Patel bit. Fuck you. Yeah. And so was that doctor. Remember the Bundaberg doctor that was cutting people up? That was a Patel. That was. Jay I Ant- saw that guy once. J Ant Patel. I saw that guy. He yeah. was at um. Ed Sheeran's in it as well. He was at. He was just at the Winter Garden in the city. It was when he was in the city for court. Right. 
Yeah, he was just like that. I'm starting to think it's not It's not him. It's not the Dude, guy from Big it's Bang not him. Oh, You're Jesus. the racist. Yeah. 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 Now I'm with him. Thank no, you. I don't want to be with him. No. He um he looks like um Dylan Alcott but Indian. <laughs> a little bit. You got to give it to me. <laughs> um, don't get me started Dylan Alcott. Okay. Please. Dylan Alcott. Uh, anyway, um next on my list is Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh yeah. Highly enjoyable. It's really good. Really. Very very good. Any fan of um of the Ghostbusters movies, not including the one that yeah. the most recent one where they made them all women. I don't consider uh, it canon. Yeah, of the, Ghost the real Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters movie, we'll like this movie. It's very good. Um, and Paul Rudd, highly enjoyable because he's Paul Rudd. Just, is he Paul Rudd or is he not Paul Rudd? You know what I mean by that question. Uh, he's kind of Paul Rudd. Okay. Yeah, he's good. You don't have to rate them all, but seeing as, yeah. starting, from the all, bo- seeing as yeah. starting from the bottom, what did you give Matrix? Ooh, what, is this a five or a ten? Or a, Out of ten, yeah. Uh... Or six and a half. All right, cool. So your worst score is a six and a half, and I'll just like assume from there. Yeah, there... I'd, I'd give Ghostbusters like a eight. Really? No I think shit. It's, I think it was really good. But then the number we've, one. We've got a lot of room. We've got two movies, and we're already at an eight. And well, the next one I saw twice. Oh, I see. Um, is the new Spider-Man movie? Right. Which right. is exceptional. It's probably the best Marvel movie. It is. It's really, really good. Even with the Sony logo at the front. Even. Did you get there late on purpose so you wouldn't have to see it? No, 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 no. I, I saw the logo. Um, right. I made a joke about it the first time I saw it. Nice. Um, pointed out the logo. Why? Is uh, no, the second time I saw it. The first time I saw it, I was by myself. Why is Spider Man so popular and so good? Like I just I keep hearing good really good stuff about. Well, I mean, such a good character. This and this movie's really good. Like yeah, genuinely but, really but good. But I hear that every time a Spider Man movie comes out, and I feel uh, like there's I mean, always uh, two out at any one time. No, uh, no. Okay, so as a as someone who hasn't watched the last probably three Spider-Man movies. I, think, I haven't seen the last like seven. I think the answer might just be because Spider-Man, in my opinion, and I don't know really anything about the other like series, but it seems like Spider-Man is a really well-written storyline mm. that like, ha- it like it just plays well on TV. Cause it's got- the last one I saw was Spider-Man 3. Yeah. yeah that was not seven movies ago though. Isn't there 10 of the fucking things now? No, there's three Tobey Maguire's. Mm-hmm. Two Andrew Garfield. Haven't seen them. This is the third standalone Spider-Man movie with Tom. So Holt. this is eight. Yeah. Well, they had an animation. And when does was Into the Spider-Verse fit? It, it's not canon. Like it's not Marvel canon. But so. there was there was there was also another one that was Into the Spider-Verse and like Long Way Home or something, wasn't it? That's one of the new Tom Holland ones. Long so Way, long way no, Home. So there's Far From Home. There's Bull, Homecoming, Far from, far from Home, and this is No Way Home. Right. The home thing's a bit weird. Yeah. No, what's I mean, what's the deal with it being home? It's, home. It's just, just he's not where he should be. You're barreling right. towards a misunderstanding with all those. Which but one like, was that? The a home from yeah, fuck. And all I that. guess it's it's <laughs> a like long from home? <laughs> it's like a well known thing now that and like I doubt it spoilers anymore that all three uh, of them. I don't know what that all three of the like guys that have played Spider Man are in this yeah, movie yeah, yeah, as yeah. Spider Man. Oh, was that the spoiler? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking lame. I've yeah, been everyone's known that for a while. I've been avoiding. Oh, there's other spoilers. There's like. There's like a, a big death in the Spider-Man universe, stuff, but like, didn't Spider-Man also die in one of the Marvel things? No. Yeah. There was a big thing, and everyone was crying about it. Oh no, he he like Thanos away, but then they come back five years later. Right. He, he wasn't the only one. A bunch of them did. But Thanos got th- Thanos got him. Uh, he got clicked away. Yeah. When Thanos clicked his fingers with all the power Click stones. with Adam Sandler. Now there's uh, a film. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, at the how bad do you want Click to be really <laughs> end of Infinity War only as much as anything in my entire life <laughs> half, uh, half right. the world like half the population of Earth disappeared right and Spider-Man was part of that that's crazy yeah did he take half of like no, I'm not gonna say it <laughs> not anyway gonna, not um, so that, that's sorry you, you, know, you know what I mean <laughs> you know where I'm going you know you, you get it yeah. Yeah. Spider-Man is excellent it's, yeah. re- it's a really good movie it's really well written it's fucking brilliant did he take all no, I'm not going <laughs> to stop. Uh, let's go into our first... Six million? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> our, our first trailer now. This is a 10 million... I've got some budgets this week, actually. Love that. 10 million US dollar budget. Yeah. Comes out 3rd of February. Director is Jeff Tremaine. Don't know. Starring Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, Chris Pontius. This is Jackass Forever. There's some new people in the, uh, mm. in the team this year, including Jasper Dolphin from the... There was a Jackass squad? last year, wasn't there? No, no this is... We there hasn't been one since 3D, which was... Oh, so, so that's what this... Okay, that's what This I is thought. the newest one, yeah. This has been teased for a while. Yeah, they've been working on this for ages, but yep. there's been a lot of injuries and COVID. And Bam did that thing. They kicked Bam out. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Three, 
I do like Johnny. He looks Johnny. great, by the way. One. For someone that's like <laughs> been through it all. A lot of people ask, what will Jackass be like once we're older? Well, it'll get more mature. Classic. The faster you Real Roadrunner. The faster the other guy's hand goes back. Oh, and MGK. MGK. There's a lot of like cameos anything. in this one. Concussions aren't great, but as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49, so we're good. <laughs> Knoxville did end up in the hospital for uh, quite a while with bad concussion. So Knoxville didn't start this shit until he was like into his 30s. He was a stuntman. Well, today we're going to do a little furniture shopping. I've been watching Jackass since I was 12 years old. And guess what? We're here. Want to do that for the sports show? Nope. <laughs> Right. Is that Eric Andre? What did you guys do to Eric? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. You still got those million dollar teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, Gee, we'll see it. I'll see it. Set myself yeah. up for failure on this one. Aaron, please relax. I'm trapped. This looks fucked. And you're putting way. honey on me and salmon! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh this looks so fucked. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? So have you seen all the Jackass movies? Uh, I haven't seen 3D, I think. Didn't see 3D, but I've seen the others. Yeah. 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 The, or maybe I fun. did, but I didn't see it in 3D. I yeah. don't know. That's very cool. I um, mean, I'm, I'm pumped for it because yeah. I just... I, I don't know. It's something about Jackass that everyone sort of... It's like, thank God there are people fucking stupid enough out there to do this shit. Yeah. I, I also think but we're also like... Grow up. We kind of grew up with the whole thing. Like, the, the yeah. MTV show, the movies, mm. even like CKY, Wild Boys, like everything that came off Jackass. Remember... Um, the Dudesons. I was just about to bring up the Dudesons. I met the Dudesons once. Did, did you met du the Dudesons? <laughs> yeah, I met the Dudesons. We had the Dudesons. At um, Soundwave. Yeah, right. <laughs> they were, got photos of the Dudesons. They were like bootleg Swedish jackass. They're Finnish. Finnish, one. Yeah. They? Yeah, well, very you don't funny. don't get those confused. <laughs> very, very funny. Um, yeah, the Dudesons. Are they still doing uh, things? Uh, I'm not. Or do they decide to just... <laughs> they be, might be Be dead. normal people They now. packed it in. They very well could be dead. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Jackass. You know what you're getting with Jackass. Yeah, I had a question about the Jackass thing. Um, so Ten million dollar budget's pretty crazy. I mean, fucking just good for these guys. Well, they, they. Well, I saw how much an went interview. Into that yeah. I saw an interview with um, Johnny Knoxville. Yep. And it was like, how much of the budget is insurance? Nine point nine. <laughs> well, he goes, we had one um, skit we wanted to do. And they quoted us for the insurance of it was five million dollars, and he was like, "That's Jesus. half our movie budget. We cannot do this." Jesus, I what it was. <laughs> That's fucked. I think he said it in the video, but I can't recall what it was. It was one of those like late night YouTube deep. Yeah, I want to shoot moments. someone in the brain to see what happens. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's what I was gonna ask. Someone made a comment about Bam Majero. Yeah, yeah. What did he do? He's, he's just kind of lost his mind. He, yeah, he's gone a bit sort of. So yeah, right. Apparently, because he was sh shooting this movie. Yeah. Apparently, some like he's technically in it because they shot some stuff, and so yeah. they kept him. Like he's still there, but like partway through, yeah, he's I got think, massive drug and alcohol problems. Yeah, and right. I think, but he says it's because of these guys. Yeah, he said that they oh, disrespect. Well, so, like he's lost his. So Unfortunately, he's, he's turned against them. I think that there's been a bit of a falling out. Yeah. No, Unfortunately, sucks. he's clearly got some issues. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you fucking. He has the best parents in the world. He does. His mum is like an angel. They're fucking great. And Phil. But then he went. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's his mum and his stepdad. Hey. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. Oh, it's no. his actual dad. Oh, it is. Yeah. Huh. But there was the, uh, like stories started coming out like years ago where it's like, oh, Bam doesn't shower. Right. And, like things like, and you're like, he looks pretty dirty. And you're like, that's a bit weird. Good. You're a very wealthy man. <laughs> good collabs with Element though. Good. I mean, a good. good like, skater. I I used to love Bam Margera. Yeah, of course. Like well, I, really I went to him concerts because of Bam Margera. What did he have? What was his association with with him? He was just like a 
big fan. He was just like a massive fan, and like he was pretty much the reason for their success outside of Finland. Yeah, okay. He like directed their music videos and took them on tours and did crazy. all kinds of things. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I just didn't know what the connection was. Yeah, but Fucking crazy. Good shit. There we go. Good some, start. Twenty twenty two. And speaking of starting of twenty twenty two, it's box office numbers time. Oh, so just to go back to Jackass. Is that is, is that just movies or is it going to be Netflix or what? Uh, no, that's at the cinemas. Third of February. I, I, Swag. We every movie we've got today is yep. uh, movie, movie, um, a, a real cinema one, movie, as they say. Um, I'm going to start with the worldwide. So that's the start of this is what's worldwide rankings. Um, this Mr. year, Mr. Worldwide Pitbull. Uh, you're going to need to open your emails. Okay. Um, number one currently worldwide is the new Scream movie. Oh number God. two is the three five five. We never even talked about that. Well, we are going to very oh, shortly. Okay. Never heard of it. Uh, number three is the Policeman's Lineage, which is a South Korean movie. And then number four, well, wait, James is going to pull it up. Now I need pronunciation assistance from you guys. I think the three five five is the prequel to the four one. So open that up with most of his luck. <laughs> That's the number four movie <laughs> in the world right now. It's out of Poland. Mm. That's Jacob, number, the number you, what movie? Number four movie in the world so far this year. Is that because it's Mogul 4? Do you want to have a shot at whatever that is? Yeah, it's easy. Uh, Kony X Sweetheart's Lil Kogel Mogul 4. <laughs> <laughs> the Kogel Mogul 4 of it yeah. is fairly easy, but yeah. It's a Polish film. Mm. Kony X Sviata Sikli. Sli. Sikli. You sound like Shlee? the dude that Shlee? runs the sauna in Frozen. Sli Kogel Mogul. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's number four and then number five is called Waiting for Bojangles which is a French movie so it's your top five worldwide so far what the fuck <laughs> I thought don't they usually bring out lots of movies on Boxing Day isn't that like a thing mm. just not oh, yeah. this year Look, I'm just oh, there was some I'm just telling you just uh, that, as good as Kogel Mogul 4 uh, well uh, uh, number six on that list is currently The Kingsman I think that'll yeah, yeah. start going up with a few right um, it's just you, that there was three Kogel moguls and this one is still good enough to chart. <laughs> Look, uh, the Australian figures last week, this is actually last week, not last time we did the show, but last week was Spider-Man, Sing 2, Ghostbusters, The Kingsman and House of Gucci. This week it is Spider-Man, Scream 5, Sing 2, Ghostbusters, House of Gucci. So mm. House of Gucci, contrary to horrible reviews, is doing okay. Uh, and in the US last week was Spider-Man, Sing 2, The Kingsman, American Underdog, which is the Kurt Warner movie. <laughs> um, Whoa. And then The Matrix Resurrections. And this week it is Spider-Man Sing 2, The 355, The Kingsman, and American Underdog, The Kurt Warner Story. That's just wild. Now, speaking of The 355, uh, it is in cinemas right now, directed by Simon Kinberg, who directed the X-Men movies. He was also the writer on Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The, oh, thank the, goodness. The movie that ruined Jennifer Aniston's first marriage to Brad Pitt. Um, this the budget. So true. The budget literally says forty to seventy-five million dollars. Right, nah, so, that's just a small gap. <laughs> yeah, there must be a big fucking insurance scheme yeah. in there somewhere. Uh, obviously, US dollars. The the um the cast list is not bad. Jessica Chastain. Don't know. Brilliant. Did you ever watch Molly's Game? No, but I know the brilliant. I know movie. the cover image of it. Yeah, she so, was in um she was in Black Mirror too. Remember yeah. Black Mirror the with the like social scoring system? Yeah, that was Jessica Chastain. Hell she's yeah. she's really good. Was she in Jurassic World as well? Was that Jessica Chastain? I don't. Chastain. I, I always get her confused hey? with someone else that looks like Chastain. Chastain. Um, Penelope Cruz is also in this. Diane oh. Kruger, and um, you'll be excited oh. to know that Fan Bingbing. Is also in this movie. That's good news. <laughs> I love fan big. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a um, big fan. I'm I a, also I'm a big fan. <laughs> Woo! What the fuck's fan Bing Bing? I'm a Bing Bing fan. I, I just thought the name. <laughs> She's literally the third listed actress. Bing Christmas. Bing. But I knew that I'd get this. Fan, no, I fan, fan Bing Bing. <laughs> Bing Bing fan. Um, one of the I saw the one of the reviews for this movie said it's generic and uninspired. This is the three five five. Say some homies dissing your fly girl. <laughs> <laughs> big big fan of fan Bing Bing. Cold War, War on Terror. Is that her? That's Jessica Chastain, yes. Yeah. That's not fan Bing Tell me when Bing Bing comes on screen. <laughs> I feel like it could be obvious. <laughs> they can destabilize entire countries what can? from simple reach of their keyboard. Oh, hacker movie. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> We're back to the slow down so movie music, please. I would need some help. <gasps> team up movie. So cool. I'm putting together a team. The best in the world is that a white person wearing blackface? That's not. Hands, 
Put your gun down. Please. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull the trigger. Or you can listen. Oof. Hard R on the trigger there. We all work for different intelligence agencies. American, British, German, White, Colombian, Chinese. And also black. This, that was Fan Bing Bing for yeah, a second. I think that was probably Fan Bing <laughs> And if we don't stop them, let's start World War III. We'll head up. So we need to join forces. You have cameras in your jewelry, comms in your earrings. This is like half the CIA's most wanted. You bump, I grab. I like the new team. We'll take it from here. I've got four more agents out on the street. I counted six, but thanks for the tip. I have two children. Stop. <laughs> That's going to be good for you, Rat. I cannot do this anymore. The bad guys are out there right now. You go home. You bring them with you. Are you under control? Are you? No. We put ourselves in danger. Jesus Christ, there's still 30 seconds of this to go. So others aren't. Pretty generic and uninspired trailer to be fair. 100%. <laughs> We're the three five five. Right, great. Uh, yeah, that's in cinemas right now. Nope. <laughs> um, l like lots to like there. I think y you like. No, no I, I mean, let me just let me start at the top. Vanilla Sky me, when she me, gets her rats out. <laughs> gets those titties sucked. That's great. That's one of the craziest scenes I've ever seen in a movie. That whole movie is fucked. I remember when I saw that as a kid. Yeah, same. Didn't like it, but then I remember seeing Penelope Didn't Cruz's like boobies. And I, think that's where, I, I think that's where it started for me. If I had to be completely honest, <laughs> that, that's where the Spanish the movie is. itself was fucking. No never thanks. saw, never saw that. Anyway, let me just let me, <laughs> no, let me just. Uh, I've seen the clip. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, let me start from the top. Fucking bunch of strong women holding guns, doing things that aren't normally considered to be female. Tick, love that. We have white. Black, oh, Asian. <laughs> don't tilt. Don't distract me from my point. Oh my White, black, Asian. Very black, by the way. <laughs> Extraordinarily the black. It was a white woman in black because face. it was so gratuitously black, in a good way, mind you. White, black, Asian, Hispanic, <laughs> and there was a fifth one. I forget the fifth one. I don't think they put Indian there. There is no Indian. No. So they didn't. Oh fuck you guys! This is no. What you don't support, like women of every race doing. <laughs> I think I, I think it's more we don't support you. Uh, this, a lot of your takes. End I'm up. saying this is this is as good as it gets. They're doing the things for the right reasons. The storyline clearly wasn't designed to revolve around five mixed race women doing things uncharacteristically female. That would be like extremely cynical to even suggest that. Why would you? Why would you? Looks look like at the me? Expendables for women. Why mm. would you try to make this about women? It's just, it's not, a, it's clearly not about women. Now you're making it about women. <laughs> We're not doing anything. Now you've made, you've made, it, now you've made it about women. <laughs> Are you happy? Done. You fucking bigots. <laughs> we haven't done anything. So what? So they put five mixed race women in an action movie and now all of a sudden it's about mixed race women. That's what you're trying to say. Are you trying to say this movie doesn't stand on its own merits and instead it's about virtue signaling? We haven't said Oh, word. you're a bunch of cowards. <laughs> You're a bunch of cowards. Just let them do what they want to do. <laughs> I've read the script for this movie. Without the characters, it's still awesome. It's got nothing to do with the fact that there's five mixed race women doing uncharacteristically <laughs> female things. What are you gonna say, mixed race women? It's five. It's that's what it is. Who was the fifth, by the way? Who cares? Fan <laughs> Bing Bing. No, no, we had Asian. There was different. There was German. So there's just different types of white. Oh, German. Oh, different types of white. For goodness' sake. <laughs> well, there you go. Can't wait to watch it. Gold class probably for that for me for that one. It's out now, so oh, hell yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. let's go straight after this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lock it in. Cancel dinner. <laughs> Honey, I'm not coming home. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Hard to so James, you, you gonna go see that? Uh I'll I'll chuck it in the maybe pile. <laughs> so the maybe a Netflix. Three nah. five five still doesn't make sense. At no point did it, it's like they just closed with it. They didn't. Yeah. Explain. At one point she said, "We are the three five. That's what five. I mean. That's yeah. that's that was it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give you this. When they did, yeah. I really liked Ocean's Eight. 
Oh uh, yeah, I didn't and, mind Ocean and, Eight. Uh, Ocean's Eight. And so take that statement <laughs> for what it is and, and use it as a, as a suppository. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least it was a heist movie. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I tell you, what, the, th- the part that I hated about that uh, that trailer was um when that evil man came on at the end oh. and he said that I can't even remember what he said, but it was something something disgusting. Horrible. Yeah. Fucking men. Uh, disgusting. That was um, ruined it. James, you watch anything good in the break? Um, or shit I mean that's probably better Watched <laughs> the new yeah. Home Alone Went back and watched um, The classic uh, No 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 The new one uh, Went back and watched Jingle All The Way As no, well Great That was a cookie mm. Fucking lovely Put the cookie down um, It's good stuff Get myself a turbo man <laughs> uh, Watched Love Actually Because my wife was playing The live orchestra for that yes. Oh that's so cool uh, That is so cool Yeah it was cool It was good to watch that again Yeah um, watched that fucking Ryan Reynolds Red Notice. Watch Red Notice. Um, mm. what'd you feel about that? It was fine. Yeah, it was exactly what I knew it would be a, yeah. a cheap. How'd you feel about the bull? Uh, I knew how I was gonna feel about the bull, <laughs> yeah. and and I think it was actually better than I expected because it had just been fucking cut down so much by the time I yeah, actually got true. around to it. Um, but by the time I watched it, I was like, sure, this was yeah. funny action, whatever. He <laughs> he. <laughs> Um, yeah. Still working through Criminal Minds, going back and rewatching uh, the British sitcom Coupling. For anyone, Coupling. Oh. Yeah, no, but never watched it, but I've seen it on something. It's good. It's on Amazon. Yeah, that's probably where it's right. Is. It's um, it's British Friends for right. adults. Right, right. That's but cool. Done in an American style. It's strange. Love yeah. that. It's American sitcom British. Yeah, Fair it's enough. got like canned laughter and everything. It's strange. And I just started watching Afterlife, oh, season yeah. three. I only watched the first. Bit of Ricky. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it is about it, but like I hate him. I hate him. Ricky Gervais. Mm. Really? I hate his character in this. Oh right. (coughs) But I still like the show, and I don't know why. Fair enough. Wild. Well, you watched a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna remember everything that I watched, but the notable ones were I watched the God. I watched Godfather one and two for the first time. Being re-released in cinemas in the next few months. Really? 50th anniversary or I something. I only just recently watched Godfather 1. That is crazy. Got um, halfway through 2 and I was like, you know, I needed a bigger break. Yeah, right. See, I did it uh, long films. within two nights of each other. Oh, jeez. Big. It was big. Long yeah, yeah. time. Long, long fucking movies. However, uh, my feedback on it is that I still definitely rate those movies. Like, I was so, yeah, I was so, yeah. so surprised, honestly. With how well they held up. So you're going to do the cinema re-release, and I think it's in March. Uh, I t- man, I don't think I'm going to go and do it at the <laughs> cinema, to be honest. Mm. Um, Gold class after you see three, five, five. Because I I, bro- I I broke up those movies. Like I watched, like even though I did it in well, one. Mariana night, had to rest her jaw. <clears throat> oh man, jaw, Jesus. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, I, I don't know why you're being a bit a bit uh, ambitious to, there. Trying to pump my boy up. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, the uh, yeah, I fucking just really, really surprised about how good it was. Anyway, uh, watch Gone Girl for the first time. Another fucking super long movie. Just tried to do all the big ones. That, that's good though. Great yeah. movie. Really yeah, liked it. Is it. Some good Ben Affleck gear in that movie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, watched Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Another very long crazy movie. long movie. Did, did you watch anything under three hours? No, because I think <laughs> the, the reason why I never watched these is because they were too long, and I think that like if I'm giving an hour and a half to a movie that's like enough for me mm. and I'm always putting these off because I'm like don't have enough time don't have enough time yeah. so it's like fuck it weather's, weather's you shit you shouldn't go see the sick. new Matrix movie because I got to a point where I was like there's 40 minutes left well also rewatch the Matrix one I mean all time went back to watch and then I was like let's do the trilogy started Matrix 2 oh, the next day movie. oh no why would you do that <laughs> I don't know I don't know I just wanted oh, to oh that's go right back. it's shit <laughs> dude yeah. The, oh yeah the first half an hour of Matrix 2 nothing fucking happens the entire thing is just like this weird like Keanu's getting blue balled by fucking go- uh, Trinity is, Trinity sorry it's getting fucking blue balls mad blue balls and then uh, it gets to a point where they're just like the entire thing is just them introducing you to fucking Zion. Yeah. Then you get some like half baked love scene, which is like pretty, pretty, it's pretty fucking good. I'll be honest. And that's it. I turned it off after they fucked. I was like, literally, now what? <laughs> it sucks, dude. Now what? And Nothing three happened. is even worse. Oh, and it's fucking Will Smith's wife in it. Yeah. As Ghost, Damn. I forgot about that. Fuck that noise. Is it? Is Sorry, it- Na- Naomi. Ghost is the Asian man. Uh, and Naomi makes a glorious return in number four. Yeah. Um. Is two or three got the like albino twins? That chase. would be three. I don't know. The I dreadlocked albinos. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. I mean, I I didn't finish two, so I couldn't say, but I didn't see him yet. That I was the only good thing about. This is the best part of yeah. whichever one of those movies that's in. Yeah. Yeah. The car chase and the. Yeah. You know what? 
I think it's two because that's where the video two, game right? came from, and I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. you had that in the video game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. sure. Also, new Matrix video game coming out looks fucking incredible. It's like yeah, GTA I mean, and yeah, Matrix well, combined. The last one was amazing. great. Yeah, last one was incredible. Uh, I think that's probably the the best ones. I watched uh, a bunch of other shit as well that was just like okay and forgettable. But like in terms of the highlights, that was yeah. that was definitely them. Out of interest, you mentioned you watched the new Home Alone. What was that like? Yeah. Uh, so it's what we were expecting. Cool. Yeah. Um, what did I, I went. I watched Nightmare on Thirty Fourth Street for Christmas reasons because I fucking love that movie. It's like so good. Um, the main thing I watched that's worth talking about is that Don't Look Up, the Leo. Oh, oh no, I watched I, that too. I watched yeah, that yeah. as well. Yeah. What yeah. did you think? Rated it. Yeah, it was really? Good. Yeah. I got to a point where I was like, I hope everyone in this fucking movie. Okay. Dies. Did, did you get <laughs> did, did you get too butt hurt from like the gratuitous like fuck Donald Trump like commentary? Oh the whole no, thing? my my thing was just like. I hate everyone in this movie. Right. Except for Timothy Chalamet. I just love Timothy oh, really? Chalamet. Dude, Jonah Hill's character was fucking... Jonah Hill's character oh, yeah, was Jonah, top, like, so, yeah. He was so good. That was um, funny as fuck. And I thought Jennifer Lawrence's character was... Uh, fuck Jennifer Lawrence. So, like, fuck that bitch. Really? Because, yeah, like, yeah. in the cloud. I'm just done. So, I'm so Ma- Mariana done hates Jennifer Lawrence I'm and like, that, Jennifer like, Lawrence. redeemed her for, for her. Really? I just... Yeah. I was I was like, everyone better fucking die. And everyone then, better well, die. Spoiler alert. They did. <laughs> that, was, that was the only thing I was pissed about is that, like... I just felt like for that to be considered, I'll say the movie was good. For that movie to be considered like good plus, it would have needed. It just needed one more thing at the end. It was like, how? It was too long as it was. No, no, no. But I'm saying like, don't, 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 don't extend it. But in terms of the way the story went, it was like a few little things that were like, oh, okay, interesting, okay, whatever, whatever. And then from about like the last forty minutes of the movie was just like, we're all gonna die, and like it was just like we're all gonna die. That was it. Full stop. We're all gonna die. Yeah. And then they died. So it was like. We're all going to die, but it would have been cool to have some, like, little something where it was like, maybe we're not. Or, like, maybe there was, like, some other thing that happened. Or Shout out to my man Leo for slaying that puss. And then, okay. And Kate, going back Kate to his Blanch- wife. Kate- <laughs> Just being like, I'm back to fuck you again. Kate Blanchett fucking role of a career for her, I think. I <laughs> didn't know it was Kate Blanchett halfway. Yeah, n- neither did I, actually. And Meryl Streep was fucking baller as a president. Yeah, super sick. Yeah. Super sick. Yeah. Um, so watch I, that. I I tried. I started to watch Kong vs Godzilla and gave up about. <laughs> is Meryl Streep in that? Five minutes in. No. no. Um, and if she is, but, I but the coach from Friday Night Lights is. Okay, boss. <laughs> <laughs> what has you got? Uh, I don't know. I I, mean, I rewatched Nobody. It's fucking right. great. Oh, I still haven't seen Nobody. Nobody's. It's a fucking excellent. Yeah, I, w- I will what watch is it. it. Nobody. Still, the, I was still waiting for the next Bob 10 Odenkirk years. It's Bob Odenkirk as a fucking badass motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Yeah. yeah. Still waiting for the next 10 years for BCS season oh, 6 to come out. Don't even fucking say um, it. It sucks because I'm going to have to rewatch all of it. All of it again. The last three at least. Yeah. I also, well, I rewatched High Fidelity just because I read the book again. Right. And I was like, oh yeah, the book's way better. Because so Jack mu- Black's the not in the book. Um, The like serious thing they did? did no, the musical. Oh, no, I haven't seen the musical. I don't know if it's the same. I know there's a high fidelity musical though. And there's also they also did a TV show with like Zoe Kravitz where they so they made the main character a black woman. So now you're making it about women again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I didn't make it about women. They did. It's crazy. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Why would they cast a black woman as the lead? What would compel somebody to do such a thing? Um, I guess it was just the right person for the job. Yeah, apparently. Let's move to the next movie now. <laughs> I'm going to run through some things about this movie. Sixty million dollar budget. Overnight. Yet to release here, but um, it was released uh, early to mid December in uh, in America. Direct- we're going to cut that shit out. What? The fucking, what, three month delayed release? Suck my fucking balls. Director of this movie is Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Oh, yeah. The starring roles are Tony Collette, Kate Blanchett, Willem Dafoe, and in the starring role is the one and only Bradley Cooper. Yep. I'm excited for this. Uh, currently, so far, it's been out for just over a month, is a huge flop it has grossed 9.3 million dollars versus a 60 million dollar budget this is called Nightmare Alley January 20th which is tomorrow as of recording of this. Nightmare Alley only in theaters December 17th final trailer starts now yeah, unnecessary just a pre-trailer trailer I will ask you simple questions you will answer in short sentences only what you believe to be absolute truth. Absolute truth. I can do that. Now, brief as you can, what is your name? 
Stanton Carlisle. I do like Bradley Cooper. Are you a true medium? Nope. Yes, I am. Mr. Carlisle. Doctor, how about that? Please lay down. Can you read minds? Yes, I can. Under the right circumstances. Keep your answers brief. What do I want? To be found out, same as everybody else. Are you in contact with the beyond? Well, we've had our share of snake charmers in the past. We deal with them. You don't fool people, Stan. They fool themselves. I've given you a fortune! It's time that you deliver it. When does it end? I want to know. If you displease the right people, the world closes in on you very, very fast. I have no idea what that film is about. No. He seems to be some sort of medium. Mm. That's not the movie I was thinking of, by the way. You seemed excited. Yeah, there's another yeah movie I was com- shocked at how excited you were when mm, I saw it. There's another movie coming out that has Kate Blanchett, Willem Dafoe, and uh, Anna Taylor Joy also in it. Nah, Anna Taylor Joy's not in that. Yeah, no. I also, what was, was William Dafoe in that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah you saw him very briefly. Yeah. Did we? I didn't see. From this yeah. angle, it's kind of tough viewing. So, what was he? The thing running down the alley? I don't know. Yeah. It looks shit. Yeah. I can see why it's struggling <laughs> massively. I don't know. Yeah, <sighs> but that trailer taught me nothing about what that film I don't hate the movie based on that trailer. I just don't know what. Yeah. Mm. There's something about Brad Cooper that I don't like either. I really like Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I don't know why I, like I don't Bradley like Cooper. him. I think he thinks he's better than he is. Oh, but watched American Hustle. Speaking of Bradley Cooper again, mm. I don't know. I, I, just something about him I just don't like, mm. and it's based on nothing. I'm sorry, Bradley, because that's unfair. But yeah, it's about time for Christian Bale to be in another movie. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, big fan of the show. <laughs> yeah, we never know. That's all right. Right. Well, if you keep making it in Hollywood. Fuck, I'd love to bring Bradley Cooper on. That would be, that'd be tops. <laughs> Not that Bradley Cooper's involved. In I'd have to say it to his face, no. wouldn't I? To Bradley Cooper? <laughs> if he was yeah, sitting yeah. right there. If he there. was sitting here, I couldn't go back on my word. To be he... completely honest, the actors of their caliber would have their dick sucked on such a regular basis that someone telling them to their face comically that you don't like them would probably be would really enjoyable. Would you ask him whether he's seen Jennifer Lawrence naked? Not on the clip. They've all fucked, obviously. They were in American Hustle together. They yeah. obviously been And Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah, you'd have yeah. to think they've. They've got to have I'll show you mine if you show me yours type, yeah. type of operation. Well, I mean, we know he's seen Lady Gaga naked because we've seen the scene. Well, didn't they date for a time after no, that? No, it was just like the because movie. they had that much chemistry, people were like, oh my God. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Time for a Christian Bale movie. You got a Christian Bale movie for us today? I don't. I miss him. I miss him, you know? Do you? Well, reach what's out. Your, what's your favorite Christian Bale film? It's impossible to say. That's how much I like the stuff. The Dark Knight? Every character's fucking Dark awesome. Knight. Dark Knight's amazing. I mean, American Psycho's got to be up there. American yeah. Psycho's up there. Yeah. The Machinist is a, a weird one. Yeah, he's fucking yeah, crazy. Wow. Jeez, he looks fucked in that movie. And, yeah. Because and, he is. American yeah. Hustle, he was such a great character too. Yeah. He plays like the degenerate, um, like, rip-off merchant. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Good, good actor, Christian Bale. Such Very a great good. actor. Not Daniel Day-Lewis good, but he's good. Well, he's, di- he's different. Yeah. I'm going to refute that, actually. I love Daniel Day-Lewis, man. I love Christian Bale. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, DDL's a, uh, he's a top bloke, though. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about what's new on, on streaming services. As Fucking heaps, by the way, on Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. So mm. I just handpicked some things. Um, the big one that obviously came out in the break was the Harry Potter reunion special 20th anniversary on Binge. Yeah. It's really... If you're a Harry Potter fan, it's, it's excellent. Mm. I really enjoyed watching it. Um, and it gave some really interesting insights into the lives of those young actors of yeah. coming up through that. And then even um, Emma Watson talked about how after like movie three or four, she was like, I can't do this anymore. Like yeah. she was going to step away just because her life became so public and because she yeah, was Chan. the girl. And Poor she Chan. was like, <laughs> Chan, man. she even said, it, she's like, I don't think the boys could understand what I was going through. Like, no, nah. she's made that her life now. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, that's good. Very much an activist. Uh, also, she could never have possibly foreseen the technology of deepfakes coming. <laughs> so true. Let me let me just <laughs> let me just put that out there. Uh, um, the Peacemaker series, we watched the trailer for that, the John Cena superhero thing. The, oh right, yeah. The spinoff of Suicide oh, yeah. Squad. That's uh, out blocked on, that in my memory. Yeah, weirdly enough, out on binge now. If you want to unblock it. Nope. Then a big thing people are talking about, there's a, a new show jumping kind of on the Squid Game bandwagon. It's called All of Us Are Dead. It's out on Netflix now. It's another Korean show. It's like a zombie breakout in a school. With real people? Yeah. Can I just say, 
don't know what you're talking about. It's that fucking thing that we watched three years ago in this building. What thing? That we three watched? and a half years, maybe three. Call it three years. That that show that we got obsessed with that was the coolest fucking show ever. Oh, that's right. That was all pre. That was pre all this shit, yeah. and that was fucking epic. I can't remember what that was called. Nor can I. It was like a game show. It was a game show, but it was yeah. Yeah. It was a Japanese game show that was on randomly like midday on SBS Viceland. Yeah. Dance. Not um that H- H- Hiroshi's Kingdom or whatever it's called. It could have been that. Oh uh, yeah, maybe it wasn't Ken like but it, Castle. It was different. It, it yeah. was it was like a it was like an uh, an open world battle where yeah. they had like a pre built world for these people to yeah, like. Yeah, each one had a different weapon. And you could hide or you could fight. You could choose whatever tactic you wanted. Yeah. That shit was amazing. God damn. Yeah, I know. I wish I could remember what it was. I'd go back and watch that. But yeah, we got super into it. Remember? Uh, yes. Yeah. Damn, yeah, I really don't know. I'm sure like a, a, a deep Google would find it. But I'm, I mean, I'm interested in this thing that you're talking about. We don't have a trailer yeah. for it? No, we've got a trailer for something else. Uh, it's being pushed heavily on stand. It's, it's called Wolf Like Me. Uh, it's uh, an Australian started, film. I just started watching this. Written and directed by Abe Forsyth, the Australian director, starring Isla Fisher and uh, Josh Gad. Love Josh Gad. Emma. Olaf from Frozen. You know, me so that I can help you. Why do I have to talk to you? You don't talk to me. It is my job to help keep you safe. Maybe you should help yourself. Is he so she's accent? built this fortress around herself so that nothing can hurt her. That's an American man. Yeah, he's an American. He's. Amazing. Hey, Emma. Hey, Emma. You're okay. Uh, Are you okay? She got a panic attack. Look at me. Look at me. I know where you're at. What did you say to her? Oh, God. Hi. I wanted to say sorry for wrecking your universe. You coming in to check on Emma was a very thoughtful gesture. I did hit you both with my car. You did, and I am planning on suing. <laughs> I find it very easy to be in your company, you know that? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. Well, why did you run away from me? I'm a complicated person. It's got baggage. After the accident, when I was scared, you said that you'd been there too. Oh, I have. A bunch of times. My life is a mess. Mess is good. I've never shared this with anyone before. I'm not perfect either. Felt like the universe was bringing us together. What did this happen for a reason? How did your husband die? We all got wolves in us. You just have to make sure you feed the right one. (laughs) This is me. This is who I am. Alright, so spoiler alert, she's a werewolf. That's it. That's why she keeps running away because she has to leave before it gets dark because she'll turn into a werewolf. <laughs> is he jerking? I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I'm he's, really he's, not. Tubbs has, T- watched Tubbs, it. Tubbs has watched it and this, she said to me, oh, she's actually a werewolf. I thought it was just a cool name but she's actually a werewolf. Yeah. How much do like, because that yeah. looks way better not knowing she's a werewolf. I know. If she until just until I said that, that killer. looked good. Yeah, if she just happens to be a serial killer, like a friendly neighborhood serial killer. Yeah. Man. I like Josh Gad. <laughs> I don't want to watch that now that I know she's a <laughs> I mean, it sucks, and I'm sorry. No, I'm glad you said it because now I'm glad I don't have to watch it. Is that an Australian production? It is. It's is a it, Stan exclusive. Is it, is it, yeah, is it In the, combination with Peacock TV, right. which is an American streaming set. Is it? Oh, right. I'm just trying to work out why they keep doing this. Like, what? Okay, Werewolf so thing. no, fuck. I mean, fuck. <laughs> that. Obviously, obviously, fuck that noise. It could be redeemable. I don't think it is. So whatever. I di- I really didn't want to pay in this thing, but whatever. Isla Fisher is obviously Australian, right? Yes, correct. But got famous, you know, in American stuff. Like, well, I guess so. She was popular on what Neighbors or Home and Away, Home and Away, whatever, whatever it was. But obviously, like, broke through. Thanks to like uh, fucking. I was, say, I was about to say Weight Watchers, fucking <laughs> Wedding Crashers. 
Um, oh, I went, I went, I went for her. So like, yeah. So like, known as a, like a with an American accent, right? Like whatever. Yeah. She's like, we got famous for the ING ads. Absolutely. So now, but like now, it's like okay. So you're in an Australian series. Your daughter's fucking, or the the guy's daughter's Australian with an Australian accent. You've got Josh Gad with an American accent. That's like kind of on the fringe of like having a little bit of like not. No, that's American. just how he talks. That's just Josh Gad. So voice. is he American or Australian? He's American. Right. So he's actually an American. Then they've got Isla Fisher, who's an Australian who puts on an American accent and is choosing to put on the American accent for this movie. You've got an Australian kid with an Australian Very accent. Australian Very Australian accent. Very Australian accent. She's like Oka Australian. Some other woman in the thing who's got an Australian accent. And it's like, for fuck's sake, like what's... Yeah, like, but she's a werewolf. But what's going on here? Like, what's the what's the reasoning? If this is if this is being partly produced by an American picture company, then I understand that, like, maybe they're going for the split thing of, like, we'll have some people in Australian accents for the Australian audience and some people in American accents for the American audience. But for fuck's sake, like, if you're an actor that's getting screen time, you should be able to do an American accent. Can you? I mean, we'll say that for my showreel. Um, <laughs> but, but... Turn that around. Don't do no, no, but it's like... Why, like, why are we doing this? It's it's so off-putting having this. Like, did you have to do an American accent for the thing? The, the, your no, record? no, there was no, no speaking. I uh, wish uh, you didn't. Yeah. Get, you didn't have uh, a, you, these pretzels are making me thirsty oh moment. God, I wish. No, no Woody Allen. Uh, so were, you, this were you just like walking around looking sexy? Uh so it was just like a, it was a featured part, but it was like a non-spoken featured part. Uh, so it was like your Golden Circle ad. Yeah, basically. Do you reckon we could play that on one screen queen's show? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't worry me. Um. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Just, it just like it really breaks the whole thing for me. It's like, wh- why can't we just have what one? What broke it for me is financially. Well, that, yeah, yeah. that sucks. I, I'm, I hate that I knew because if I saw that, I'd actually be somewhat interested yeah. in what the fuck was. going on I just on love there. Josh Gad, man. He was cunning, like past Cunningham in the original uh, Book of Mormon. Like when Book of Mormon originally, oh, he was the baptizing. He guy. was the yeah. He right. he whatever they call it, originated that role whatever they call the first person yeah, 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 the okay. first person to play yeah. that role was gotcha, Josh Gad gotcha. that makes sense um, yeah. Arthur Cunningham and so great voice obviously Olaf is his big like Disney role yeah. but Josh Gad's great yeah I just wish that like I don't know I just wish it was Australian like get Josh Gad to do an Australian accent or something and then have everybody yeah. else be Australian I, I don't know just just fucking... that other thing that's coming to stand with uh, Zac Efron that looks good no. called Gold it looks like um, oh I did see a bus with that on it it looks like um, yeah I've, I, I've, I haven't seen it like trailer version I've seen yeah. like a, it looks something good. for it I saw a trailer version it looks good you guys watched the trailer for The House yet on Netflix nah. the animated series that's like that just dropped nope definitely wacky we should try to bring that for next week right. it, it's like an adult animation but not adult in the sense of like Rick and Morty adult it's adult in like weird it's stop motion Right. So you, that could be enough to make people hate it, um, but it's like horror in a way. It's like a, sure. it's sort of like Wallace and Gromit, but spooky. Oh. Looks really, really interesting. I, I definitely want to watch it. Stop motion seems like the slowest way to make anything. It's, hey, it would be just fucking just dis- destroying. It would be soul crushing to make. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I mean, it looks. I still don't really know if it's gonna be good or not, but I, I want to give it a, give it a try. Uh, we're gonna go like straight into our next thing. So this is actually from 2019, but it's being released in cinemas now. Um, small cinematic run from the 3rd of February. This is created by it's a this is a documentary uh, created by Jonathan McHugh. It's called "Long Live Rock, Celebrate the Chaos." I thought it was just fitting for a rebel audience. Yeah, sure. Some great interviews on this. Probably. Nothing's like a rock show, man. And it's a place of solidarity. Incredible bear to song. Your American isn't seeing the heavy rock artists on the award shows or radio. They can sometimes believe that, oh, rock doesn't exist anymore in the way it used to. I don't want to be on morning talk shows having to be nice because hard rock's all accepted and, and you know, it looks good for Kathy Lee and Hoda. Generally speaking, rock is dead. I don't listen to anybody who says rock is dead. All the disenfranchised feel that they belong to something that's much. Do you think Lars gets interviewed for every single thing like this? He's just like on speed dial. He just mm-hmm. wants to talk. He can't play drums. He just, just wants cash. In the moment. That symbiotic What's relationship that? between the fan and the band—it's integral. It's a cool vibe between the bands. It's like a big fan. I do love that too. I don't know what compels people to want to jump on top of a I love Andy Black. She just said, I want to serve a fiery you. Person. I have to pull her up on top. Uh, Black Belt Brides? Oh, really? Rock and roll's dead, you can kill me right now. 
is definitely my mom trip, my therapy. There's nothing more mesmerizing. Gotta have last day. <laughs> it's altering, and, and in an altered state, people do things that they wouldn't otherwise do. I don't like the wall of death. <laughs> it's just warfare. Law enforcement. It's life or death a lot of times. I'll never see ice the same after Rick and Morty. <laughs> have you heard this new song? Gilkey was an inmate here. We kind of sparked a kindred friendship of, of music from that. Music has the ability to heal the human soul like nothing else can. And they became good eventually. The first <laughs> I thought that's where it was going. <laughs> My brother was gassy. He's like, I bet you won't do it. I'm like, yes, I will. I see a lady in a wheelchair fucking crowd surfing. That's rock and roll. So whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, a liberal, or conservative, when the music catches you, it doesn't matter. We're all one. Myself and the music I'm making, the audience, is one of the most important relationships in my life. It's a real connection that's more than like, we're going to go play a show, there's an ocean of people, there's a check at the end of the day. Like, don't tell anybody, but I do this for free. Up in Tom. Tom Rowan. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Like that? What are they coming out to? Uh, 3rd of February in cinemas, short cinematic run. Cinemas. Um, if I'd ever go and see a documentary at the cinema. Yeah, it seems like an on-the-couch-with-a-beer-at-home job. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. Saw it pop up on the coming soon, and I was like... Yeah, was that looks good. I mean, it's got, uh, like, obviously Ice great T's interviews. A, a weird one. But, well, he's in that, yeah, he, that band. He had um, Body Count. That's the one. Which was, like, pretty rocky. Yeah, yeah it's like rap metal, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like Body Ed Count. P.E. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. <clears throat> yeah, but but if you if your contention of this whole film is rock's not dead, I mean, don't get iced tea. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Also, all the bands bar Greta Van Fleet were dusted, so mm. also that. Yeah, and I like Greta, Greta, Van, I like Greta Van Fleet uh, not inspired by Led Zeppelin. I was going to say Greta Van Fleet are, <laughs> are already dusted in the fact that they're just a yeah. band that's come and gone already. Yeah, they just but they do play Bear Tooth song. It's fifty years that, later. So. so yeah, so you're in by oh, default. I love Bear Tooth. Um, we're going right into our final trailer because we did have an extra trailer this week. So um, straight into this. This is something I'm insanely excited for. Uh, director is Sam Raimi. Hey, no. Uh, um, I was just seeing the thing. I thought it said storage S- but it's a strange sort of thing as a storage wars movie starring rachel mcadams right. benedict wong and one of your benedict personal wong yeah benedict wong how did he get married <laughs> no. he fucking assumed his wife's name just wait and also benedict cumberbatch this is dr you, S- it's fucking impossible they're two different people you can't have two benedicts <laughs> there's, there's always two benedicts in the doctor strange movies uh, this is doctor strange 2 we're gonna have a marvel free week in the multiverse of madness this trailer literally came out two days ago following straight on from spider-man so this is doctor strange what two, two. Doctor Strange, the fucking homecoming queen doctor strange two. it's called taming, taming the strange in the multiverse of madness That's Benedict Cumberbatch, not Benedict Wong. It was the only way. But I never meant for any of this to happen. French McAdams or Scarlet Witch. That was Benedict Wong for a second. They've changed it. Changes. Um, I fucking hate that. I hate that intro. No Sony logo, at least. No, the pfft used to be Wanda. Pfft. Now yeah. it's. It's Wanda. I know Scarlet Witch. Show up. I made mistakes, and people were hurt. I'm not here to talk about Westview. What fuck's he done to his face? And what are you here for? I need your help. It's what? What do you know about the multiverse? Oh no! Why would you ask? <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. I hope you Benedict understand. Wong. On the left. The greatest threat to our universe. Sounds like 
this moment. Oh, Stranger Things. Yeah. So that picks up right where Spider-Man leaves off. Fucking hell. I honestly can't... This is the world's longest and worst car trip. <laughs> can't pretend to... With no piss stops. To care or keep up with all this Marvel stuff, hey? It's, it's hard like, when you have like, should it. I fucking yeah. quit my job to get in... To like, <laughs> honestly. Keep up with all this shit? Honestly. It's too... It's 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 too much. It really come back just great, though. It really is too much. He's a good actor. I like the man. It's, it's too much. I He's have really to, good as that character. Doctor Strange is a good There's just character. so much... Like, there's... No longer Sorcerer Supreme, in case anyone. Just give it a rest, you know. You don't have to. Do, you don't have to keep bringing out Marvel films. You do when they all make. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I and it's owned right. by the mouse now. Yeah, mouse has bills to pay, bro. Just this continuous fucking. It's like, why am I waiting so long for GTA Six to come out when they can punch out forty-eight fucking Marvel films a year? Because GTA Online makes a bazillion dollars as well. GTA Six is going to be really good. There's Female your, protagonist. There's your answer. In GTA 6... Well, that's the word on the street, bro. That would be cool. You get to play as the hoes. <laughs> Sick. I mean, for real. Like, the, like women are disrespecting Grand Theft Auto. That's just that's Everyone just a fact. That's You not, can disrespect that's, anyone you want. Yeah, well, that's actually... <laughs> hey, there you go. Thank you for cleaning that up for me. Um, I mean, a female character would be would be cool. Well, you're going to go to a strip club and there's, like, dudes in there. Oh, wouldn't that be great? That would be fucking awesome. Start tugging, on, in, tugging on some schlong. If we're, if we're going to do video game news, um, Microsoft, Xbox bought Activision Blizzard, like, literally overnight. Is it a fire sale because of the Blizzard stuff? No, I mean, they bought Activision because now they own Call of Duty. Right. And now all the talks are whether they'll make Call of Duty an Xbox exclusive to raise Xbox sales, which would be a huge move. That like, would be a massive move. <laughs> that yeah. would be... A lot of butthurt, I don't know, 10-year-olds? PlayStation old? fans, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't play War Zone. So people are still playing COD a lot? Of course. Warzone's like probably Warzone, one of if not Warzone the Warzone is big, COD. Yeah, it's Call of Duty Warzone. Oh. No no one ever says that. They say Warzone. Yeah. I thought it was an independent title. And then there's whatever the new one's called. Gotcha. <laughs> um, I don't own it. Yeah. I, I can get it for free in a few months when because they, they're all going to Xbox Game Pass. That's wild. Every Activision and Blizzard game will be on Game Pass. Yeah, my name. It also means they now own um, World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's 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 what I meant. But obviously, you know, Blizzard had the problems. There's a lot of um, in-house issues with. That's what I meant. Yeah, so that's why they got them. Yeah. All kinds of. Th- oh, they. I mean, they paid billions for them. Well, yeah, you'd hope so, and they did create the mo- most popular game in the world. Yeah, but um, they. I mean, obviously, bought Bethesda. What twelve months to two years ago so mm. just buying up every big studio it's that's how they're going to beat PlayStation is the plan it looks like spend a shite load of money mm. so if you come for a video game wrap up also, also helps that they have Microsoft yeah I mean they're not short on so coin that's probably going to do them in good stead you'd yeah. imagine uh, unfortunately well, PlayStation didn't invent uh, 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 Mac uh, no they do have Spider-Man though they, they do, do have Spider-Man. PlayStation do have Spider-Man. The, and and Spider-Man's that, officially taken over Harry Potter as like money-making fucking series. Also, yeah, it, right. and it's like the reason the PS5 was sold so well is because you can only get Spider-Man 2, the Miles Morales Spider-Man uh, game on PlayStation. I don't believe you. It's a, it's a Sony exclusive. That, that's sure. Surely wasn't why the PS5 was Dude, in such demand. this fucking bought the PlayStation for MLB The Show. Uh, no, 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 that's now on. That's now on on Xbox. Oh, so you're like, an idiot for buying yeah. the PlayStation. Uh, but I bought the PlayStation Four for the first Spider Man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. So they're good games. Uh, incredible games. You've never played a Spider Man game? Just swinging around yeah, the city. Yeah, it's pretty cool. PlayStation One and Two. Fucking great. Yeah. yeah. Now imagine that, except it's better because it's new. Yeah. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> enough to not enough to make me want to buy a PlayStation, but it's yeah, I'm not a I'm not game. rushing out to buy a PS Five. I'll. St- I already spent a thousand dollars on my new Xbox. So, thousand dollars on an Xbox. I got day one, bro. You got to have day one. I don't know what that means. Got it. Day, day one. <laughs> like, oh, what is it? What's the new Xbox? Uh, series, series X. One S. One X. 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 Series X. So it's like Xbox X. Series X. It's yeah. Xbox, it's Xbox Series X. And there's a Series X and a Series S or something for so Xbox, people that can't Xbox afford one, the X. Xbox One. Xbox One was one. the old model, yeah. right? It's so crazy. What changed between between those? So the Series X is the most powerful console ever made right. at this point in time. 
Right. Which will last for about eight more months and then something will come yeah. out. That's the only thing that that's the only thing that pisses me off about new consoles. Not that this is a gaming chat, but it's just like Well it is now. It's just like the new console is like really powerful. That's you know? what's not. But that's but that's like that's the upgrade. Yeah. It's like at one point we we're going from like this thing can play like like this and then you're like entirely new experience. Now it's like, well, the graphics are great. Do you have a four thousand dollar TV, by the way? Because if you don't <laughs> And and like oh no load times. Gone. Yeah, but that that it's happened great. like when they moved to fucking solid discs. No, no, no. I've still got load times. I'm playing Far Cry Six at the moment on a PS4, and there's yeah, you'd be load times for days. Yeah, GTA was a shit cunt for yeah load times. Wow, it's been it's just been such a long time since I've done console I mean, gaming. G- I think GTA is like a 200 gigabyte game at this point. It's mental with all the upgrades. It's fucking mental. Bring in another um. Max Payne, by the way. Fucking Max Payne was a great Rockstar game. Max Payne I mean, 3, I played that like five times. But that, I mean, that's essentially what the Matrix game is. Ma- mm. Max Payne is the Matrix, right? Yeah. I never played any Max time. Payne game. Max Payne right. 3 is fucking awesome, dude. Really? Yeah. Max Payne's excellent. Wow. As a game series. That, that was originally PS1 or 2. Yeah. Uh, that era. Yeah. 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 After, um, after really, that. really good. Yeah. Max Payne 3. Sick. Is it like storyline? Yeah. Cool. Love that. And you can love it all um, next week when we come back and do this whole Yeah, for thing. fucking game hunks or whatever we're called. <laughs> <laughs> can you edit this part out? We'll put it out as a <laughs> yeah, yeah, game as a, hunks. As a fucking little, little tease. <laughs> there yeah, you go. Let us know. Yeah, bye.